Okay, good morning to you all. Uh, I'm going to explain about the Lex program to eliminate the comment lines in a C program and copying the resulting program into a separate file. This is one of your lab uh, program which comes under 6CA. So, as you know, all know that uh, Lex program has three particular uh, um, blocks. One is for the definition section. Uh, the other one is for the rule section and the third one is for the main section and um, in the definition section we include all our header files we also declare our uh, uh, variables here I'm in this program I'm counting the number of comment lines which is present so I'm initializing the count value to zero and uh, these are my rules which are present um, this rule specially is for uh, counting the number of uh, uh, multi-line comments so the regular expression goes in this way initially we need uh, a string which needs to be matched by a slash and star and followed by uh, it should not terminate by uh, ending comment tag and at the end it needs to have a ending comment tag so if this particular rule is matched the particular comment uh, will be incremented so initially it will be zero the, for the first multi-line comment it becomes one so similarly if i have um, a single line comment a single line comment will be of this form uh, where i have uh, two slashes followed by any number of characters if this is the case uh, my count will be incremented i have a main program here the input towards the program is sent via command line arguments so argc will hold the number of count for an argument argv holds the complete array and argv is a pointer pointing towards the array location where all my uh, um, arguments will be present so i'm creating two particular uh, pointers which are of type file and uh, as whenever i'm giving any command line arguments so um, Usually in the Lex program, whenever I'm executing it, the first uh, argument will be of dot backslash a dot out, followed by the first file name, which is specified, and the second file name, which you specify. So if my argument count is uh, greater than one, only then, uh, based on the condition that yes, I have two particular files where uh, I can deal with the problem now. So I utilize or save the first argument, which will be my uh, first file first file usually will be the file which has a C programming um, with comment lines in it. So I'm opening it in read mode and if that opening of file is not successful then you display a message that there is something wrong with the uh, file. In other case it's a file error. So if this particular case is false that means the file uh, creation or reading of the particular file is success so it goes I'm sending that particular file contents towards my standard in so file standard in will check for the complete rules for each and every line and uh, it calculates the count using the incrementation so the second case is I have to transfer all the particular uh, data which are present in file one and uh, and that particular second file should be free from the comments so I'm writing some of the operations into my second file which I'm sending via the command line argument. So I'm opening it, I'm uh, saving it to the file pointer. Again, if the successful of file two, if the particular file is not able to create, then uh, I display error message and I gracefully come out of the program. So ultimately, whatever I uh, check out in the rule part, if it is not satisfied with the comment line, so all the comment line will be removed and it will be pushed towards your secondary file that is F2. So now I call the particular function and I, by pressing the control D keys, now I'll get to know that uh, number of comment lines which are present in my particular program. So I'm coming out of the main method. So this is a very simple program. Um, in order to eliminate the comment lines in C program and copying the result program into the separate file. Alright then, in the next class we will speak about the next 6B program. Thank you all.